Huh. You are... Oh! Uh, different! You're different too! You and me! We're alike! Friends! I want to be... Wait! Please! Wait! Greetings and salutations. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings and know your thoughts. May we please be friends? <laughs> May we please be friends? Ah, I see you found him. It's Ladeus. It's been a while. Too long, I think. Too long indeed for close collaborators. On this blessed occasion, I bring not only myself, but others who long to speak with you. You are of the Convocation. Emmet Selk at your service. Do I have the honor of addressing Hermes, Chief Overseer of Elpis? You do. You have traveled far for it. Given your facility's purpose, its remote location is something of a necessity. Would that I didn't have to rely upon a guide. Oh, you wound me. Have I not ever been an attentive and helpful friend? But moving along to more agreeable company, this one we chance to... Well, you certainly have her attention. Is she one of yours, Hermes? Her name is Meteon. It means shooting star. Hmm. If I may make an observation, her ether is terribly thin. I fear she might dissipate at any moment. Nor do I believe you've made a submission to the Bureau. I would remember such a concept if you had. I haven't, as you say. I judged it too early. She's a pet project of mine, still undergoing preliminary testing. But rest assured that I will attend in person ere long. Very well. Being an authority on flying life forms, I appreciate that you are exacting in your work. I shall look forward to your submission. If we have finished with the perfunctory chit chat, I would discuss official matters. By my coming, I trust you already anticipate the subject. I have an inkling, yes. Please wait to the main building yonder. I shall join you as soon as I've returned these creatures to their homes. What's wrong, Hermes? The Nemstoma is missing. Hmm. I may have found it. A creature with the self-same ether as those there, nestled in the boughs of a tree outside the grounds.
You're saying they can climb with their sorry excuses for limbs? The fashion has been to imbue aquatic creatures with the power of flight, ever since the words of Mitron created a sky-swimming fish. The Amistomas, too, can fly, if only slightly, and they could conceivably climb a tree. Whether they can come down safely, however... Excuse me. to do with this lot? <laughs> May I suggest we split up? If you would be so good as to assist Hermes, Emmett Selk and I shall keep an eye on these adorable creations in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> 